Welcome back to another video of World of Warcraft Classic Hardcore. Anyway, let's play. So guys, I'm very happy to announce that I bought another month worth of subscription for World of Warcraft. Obviously, that means we're not going to cover other games as much as we used to. Uh, because you guys are supporting the series. So for as long as you guys will support the series, I will then continue on playing the game. So just keep that in mind. So any forms of support, leaving likes, watching the whole video, subscribing if you're new, all of that will count towards us continuing on with the series. So I appreciate you guys being here. Anyway, let's play. So we are over leveled for where we're going to right now. But that's okay. It's not a big deal. Uh, so we're going to do the quest that's up here. Way over leveled, but it's okay. Um, it shows you on the right side level 15 to 19, but we are level 20 already. At 20, we didn't get something big. Uh, because we were putting uh, 8 points over here. And then the rest is in Shadow. I don't know what we're going to do over here. Because I don't really want to play Shadow, to be honest. Uh, this is definitely a must take. I don't I don't care which class or which spec you play. Uh, the problem is though you have to get the last hit for this to work. Now, luckily we do have a really good wand. Uh, but for leveling this will proc all the time. So you'll we'll never have any mana issues whatsoever. So we need to swap these two around again. Oh, we're still looking for raptors as well. We're 7 out of 15, or 7 out of 12. That's about 60% done. Also, I haven't been online for more than two days. People are leveling like crazy. 93 right now online in the guild. You can see at the bottom there, it's currently 11 minutes past 2. Real time for me. But yeah, we got some insane gear now. Uh, we got a blue staff, a blue wand, a blue chest piece. And we're just gonna shred, dude. Like, we're gonna go through this so fast. So my DPS is uh, 34. Absolutely redonkulous, man. So we're farming Cat's Eye Emerald here. Is what we're mainly looking for. It's a very, very small chance for it to drop, by the way. Okay, never mind. <laughs> they want us to farm five uh, oils. Yeah. 
We can do that as well. It's not a big deal. Uh, these guys also drop it. Now we're full green. That's what I'm talking about. Give me my item, bro. Give me that flask of oils. Goodness. Oh no. Is it a triple pull? No, it's only double. So far, so good. We're not getting oils, though. It's kind of bugging me. Oh, that's a dead body right there. Yeah, they're not giving me oil at all. Oh, hi there. We still have two oil. I'm wondering if, if I'm at the wrong place. It says Venture Co. Overseer. Oh. Yeah, there, it's not these guys. My bad. But yeah, now we're level 21. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, buddy. So we're looking for... Overseers. Enforcer.
Overseer, there you go. Look at this mana regen, dude. Holy. We get double mana regen every time he kills something. And if we cost, we get 100%. We get, uh, it's a 100% increase how much money you get, right? So it's double the, double the amount of mana. If you cost while that thing is active, uh, you get half of it while costing, which is still insane. Because then that means I'm getting half my mana while costing, where if I'm not costing, I, I get double the amount. So, currently we have 3 out of 5. There's another Overseer. Ooh, Shadowfang Keep. That's the next thing we do, right? It's here. Level 24 to 32. Shadow and Keep 22 to 30. We need one more. One more oil. Enforcer. Enforcer. I don't see anything else here. Overseer. Slippers is an upgrade, apparently. Oh, nice. One extra stamina. <laughs> Me? <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> Grass. My part one and two videos did well. Come on, man. Where, where, where's my, where's my enforcers? Sorry, not enforcer. We're looking for overseers. It might be overseers like above. I've never went up in this tower. Dude, there was an overseer right here. Yeah, there we go. see anything else <laughs> I've never gone up on this tower dude
Maybe it's a class quest? I'm not sure. Overseer, please give me oil. So we can continue on. I shouldn't have grabbed it, by the way. We're looking for overseers. <laughs> Exclusively, pretty much. Thank you. Job's done. Oh man, my bag is almost full. We barely just uh, started the video. We made goggles. Five Intel six expert. Oh my goodness, dude. Requires level 24. What a chat, bro. He is level 24. Bro, that is huge goggles. Wondering now if I should respec. Uh, respec into... Cell found. I'm doing mining, uh, I'm doing skinning and tailoring. Dude, every single one we kill, drop one. Yeah, but... Your inventory is always full of gems and junk. He's at 10 times already on this character alone. He's level 26. So wait, we don't do this quest. Okay, that's weird.
This is where a rogue quest is. And you can die if you do something wrong. A level 30 elite fights you, and you're level 20. If you do something wrong. If you do it right, obviously it doesn't fight you. I think it's how you get your poisons on your weapons, if I'm not mistaken. Isn't engineering ahead of this? You pull him back, this guy is maybe in Railing Caverns. He's in Shadowfang Keep. Oh, we're doing the Sam of Lounge. Yes, but isn't isn't goggles Why is no one answering me? But not this. Oh, what's this? A Samo flange, you say? What's a Samo flange? Ah, but look at the way it moves when you handle it. And there's the sound of intricate gears inside. Oh my! What the fuck? I want to fix it and see what it does, don't you? I want to fix this Samo flinch, but to do that, I'm going to need some supplies. I ran out of 17.5 gauge nugget slugs, and I'm going to need a bunch of those for the work ahead. The closest place to get them is the Sludge Fen to the east. The Venture Company usually keeps them in their tool buckets. Go to the Sludge Fen and look in the tool buckets you find there. Then return to me when you've gathered enough nugget slugs. Nothing beats skinning for money making. But but no point in making money. First helm, let's go. Like, I'm considering, tr like, swapping to engineering now. 
Because, like, that headpiece is insane, dude. Six. Intel, five spirit. Yeah, that's two levels, three levels away from where I am. You see, I, I didn't want to do it because there's so many reasons not to. I shouldn't do this. Like, what the fuck are you doing? No, he's so low level, he doesn't... Okay, never mind. one there. the key they're doing the escort already I need to do this first anyway. barely see them dude you have to highlight like hover your mouse over and see if something lights up there's a dead body They run so fast. None here. Yeah, 
bags is completely full. Dude, I just killed this one, man. He instantly respawned as I kill him. Another one. What? The one only had one in. We only need one more anyway, so it should be fine. to do some research. I'll do it soon. I think I asked the guild as well, is it fine if I do skinning? Skinning and tailoring? Like, I, obviously I want to do enchanting, but you can't. Because enchanting requires a rod that you can only get from... ...that you can get from uh, blacksmithing. Like, dropping it now, I'm gonna have to run for like two hours around just look looking for ore the whole time. In order to just catch up to my level. to wait for this dude to spawn again.
And it might take a minute. So might as well just farm while we wait. Put on some cloth, I guess. Spawned. Yo, hurry back. So this is an escort quest. It's fairly hard if you do it on level, by the way. So I'm just like pre-killing everything that he might try and pull. What's this quest name? Dude, I don't know the name. No. No, it's not. So yeah, that spawn right there is pretty hard on level, so... This way. We're gonna blow the horn and kill a white uh, lion. Also, I want to do Wailing Caverns again. Uh, we're halfway with like three quests. So I feel like we should do Wailing Caverns within this video. It's a very long dungeon. I also still want to change the colors because someone did complain that I didn't see their HP being low. And it was a rogue and I watched the replay a bit. And like, it's yellow, like their health bar is yellow, and their background is yellow. So it's not that I didn't heal him, it's just I didn't see his health being low. And I feel like that's a visual problem. As a healer, you should be able to tell who's low and who's not, obviously. It's your job. Blue screen into death. No, dude. For sure.
He actually died. So I don't know if you found a healer. It's funny that he, when he whispered me, I instantly responded for sure. Instantly. I didn't think about it or delay. And then he found someone else. Hmm. Find it kind of sus, though. Anyway. Um, let's get into Alview Eye. Movers. Quest objective. Let's just move it a bit. Uh, then we also want to go into unit frames. Group unit frames, party, and health, right? Coloring by type. Class backdrop. So, dead is red, custom backdrop is black, health by value, class health, color health by class. Well, great! You got them, now I can get to work. Well, that didn't work. I put some extra gauges on the samoflange to measure its structural integrity. And they read the integrity at an all-time low. I could add some more dials and maybe a lever or two to try and fix it, but I think that might make things even worse. You should take the samoflange to really Greasy Gob. He used to work for the Venture Company. If anyone knows how to fix it, it's really. You can find him at Nog's Machine Shop in Orgrimmar in the Valley of Honor. That's a 13 minute flight. Someone's gonna fly for 13 minutes, dude. I mean, I could roll into DPS. Like, even though I'm just debuff and wand, this wand alone is like carrying so much DPS, dude. But for now, I just want to do this quest until we get back to... Until we get sent back. Like, we still have to do the, the yeah, the main quest for Wailing Caverns as well. The main quest line. I mean, I would still, like, regardless if I'm fire or cane, like, I would still open with a frost. Blood and thunder. I would open with a frost bolt first.
Oh, we have so much cloth, dude. It's crazy. Look at all these quest items, dude. Come on. Three blues at 25. I'm three blues at 21. Let him have his fun. <laughs> Now everyone's health is blue. Level 32 died. Does it change color? No, not really. Alliance got privileges. I mean, Horde also. It's just, I feel like early game Alliance is just so much better. I wouldn't say easier, it's just better. Out of all the blues you can get from quests. 
I don't know if it scales out later. I'm not too sure. Just remember, I know the game in and out until level 25. Because I played so much. So many different characters. Um, when Season of Discovery came out. And I, I quit the game once I... Uh, once they banned GDKPs. And apparently it's still banned. So maybe maybe it's good. Maybe it worked. I'm not sure. I think I also might join a GDKP guild or groups once we're max level. I'm not too sure. Like, we'll play Southbound until max level, but I think then you need to get Petri. Wait, we, we don't need these. power reduced by th by 34 that's so much there's an inverse one here somewhere There's another in this one. Bro, I feel like these rings drop rate is so bad, man. What the heck? Dude, we recorded for an hour already? Holy. Feels like it's been 10 minutes. This is our third quest. It's so fast, man.
We need one more ring. In this. Job's done. Okay. Now we gotta TP back and in all these quests, but I wanna do research where we should get engineering. Give me a second. Okay, I did a lot of research now on this. Loked. You got rid of the raptors. Thank you, adventurer. You are an adventurer of worth. You may have killed the raptors. But the silver they stole must be recovered. I have reports that the raptors have a large grouping of nests south of Ratchet, known as the Raptor Grounds. It is likely that they brought our stolen silver there. Go to this Raptor Haven and search for the stolen silver. When you find it, return it to me. Strength. Okay, so... It seems like... You can you can make headpiece though, by the way. What? You've beaten a Cheyaki, and though his days of hunting are over, his spirit is with you. He will show you the strength found in subtlety and the honor in mercy. Your path is still long, adventurer. Let's hope you stride it well. Now, adventurer, the hunt deepens. Now you must defeat your prey and then find your way to its lair. Hunt the Sunscale Raptors to the south. Slay them and remove the feathers they wear. Place the feathers on the Scythe Claw nest southwest of the stagnant oasis. Show their brethren you do not fear them. Excellent work, my friend. I think you'll go far within the Horde. You did so well with the lieutenants and underlings that I'd like you to do one last thing for me. Serena Bloodfeather is the sister of a harpy named Bloodfeather, who was slain by Rexar quite a while ago. Apparently these attacks on the Horde caravans are revenge for her sister's death. I need you to slit her throat and bring me back her head. I want to place it on the next caravan we send out. Give those harpies something to think about. So after doing a lot of research, um... It seems like tailoring becomes really good at level 28. Um, and skinning pairs very well with it. Because the, 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 the good stuff requires skinning. Or requires leather. Hey, I lots to do, lots to do. The union's given us deadlines and they're not the sort you want to miss. Hopefully we'll be able to get something of value from the wrecked shredder prototype. My time's running out. I'll dispatch a salvage team to Whistlecrank's location on the double. Oh, let me give you something for your trouble, too. Time. Look at the size of that thing, adventurer. We're That's what she said. Rich. Let's see. According to the rates I've seen on gems going into Undermine, I should be able to figure out your cut. 50%. Don't worry. Now, let's see. I think this should do about right. Pleasure doing business with you, adventurer. The raptors of the barons are smarter than raptors in other lands. And I think all that smarts is hiding in their horns. If so, then I could grind their horns into powder and use it to make smart drinks. I could sell them for a fortune. And you can help me. Find me intact raptor horns from Sunscale Scythe Claws. They roam in the southern barrens and in the northern barrens near the border of Ashenvale Forest. Spider egg omelets are a new fad in Booty Bay. The problem is... Booty Bay's got no eggs. I smell an opportunity. In Windshear Crag and Sisher Canyon, in the Stone Talon Mountains to the northwest, lives the Deep Moss Spider. Bring me its eggs and I'll pay a bundle. In Windshear Crag, the eggs will be clustered under what trees remain. In Seashear Canyon, well, if you have a weak stomach, then maybe you should just collect the eggs at Windshear Crag. So pretty much the only benefit that engineers have is the fact that they have stun bombs and they have a, a, a dummy for when you need to get away. But I feel like if you play if you play a priest, I feel like if you play a priest, um, you already have shield, you already have fear. Um, I feel like you have so much defense already that you don't really need anything. You don't need the training dummy, right? 
Um, but when it comes to tailoring, you'll have 24 slot bags, which is insane. Imagine four of those. That's going to be ridiculous. Uh, you'll have uh, pre-raid gear. I think there's one piece that you can collect um, for pre-raid gear, which is insane also. It's a purple item. Um, but yeah, those, like, you'll, you'll make really good gear from level 28 upwards as well. What the heck? And you can make an insane amount of money by selling bags, by the way. Uh, obviously, I'm self-found, so I won't be having a sell option. So I feel like it's uncomparable, to be honest, because if you don't need the training dummy, then most probably your best option is to get, in, in my opinion, is to get herbalism and alchemy. And then your second best option would be to get tailoring and skinning. So this is the third best professions to take. Which, at the end of the day, means that you won't have Petri. That could be a problem. If you guys don't know what Petri is, it, it, I think it turns you into stone for 30 seconds. And what you do is you leave the party and you keep running, right? And uh, there will be a minute timer coming up. And then once, I don't know, once it's like 20 seconds down, you could just Petri and you'll be safe um, out of the dungeon. Because it teleports you out of the dungeon if you leave uh, for one minute. So it's the, it's the safest way to get out. If shit hits the fan, over pool or, or there's a wipe happening. Also, skinning is by far, nothing even comes close to it, by far the most profitable. You will 100% make enough gold in order to, um, in order to buy or mount it at, at level 40. It's the only class where it's 100, or only profession where it's 100%. Anyone else, everyone else have to be very conservative with their money. But skinning, you'll get there for free, pretty much. As long as you skin, obviously. 
I, I hated to do this quest as well. Because it's double pulls and there's nothing you can do about that. I assume this guy obviously don't have skin any. He's running away, GG. recommend <laughs> yeah that's the that's a risky quest He came here first though like there was two people escorting before so we need one more raptor horn to get the pre-quest done. For Wailing Caverns. There's so many guildies and barons. I hate that the health bar is white. Like, why is this health bar white in my group? Uh, let's go into rested XP. Oh, so not rested XP. Unit frames. Health. 
color. Man. Black. We could just do that, hopefully. Uh, so this quest that we're doing right now is the pre-quest for Wailing Caverns, by the way. By the way, uh, you need to save up two of these, and then get four Spider Silk. Uh, that's gonna be Blue Boots. That's gonna be your first good item you can make as a tailor. I think I sold a few of them already. My bad. It's gonna be Blue Boots. Why are you not showing up? Thank you. Yeah, this is gonna suck, dude. Since we only have one bracer or bracelet. A bracer. It takes a while to farm these. I lose everything, even fucking greens. Shaman always won in all dungeons. I have no idea how it works. It's all about mental dominance, sure. I guess. I died once to this. For some reason, there was like 10 on top of each other when they started attacking me. Like, I'm not even kidding. I died in one hit. One hit. a few hunters here but yeah we need to get kill one of them up there also
The one crit 70 now. It never critted that much. Find it a little odd. It still hit me. Dude, I had corruption on me already, man. Why put it on me again? Seems like our waste. Another eight slot bag. Avoid the hunters, man. I, I honestly think it's not worth fighting them. Five out of ten. Well, well, we need ten more to go. Let's just say that. I want to avoid the hunters, but like, it's like a waste running around all the time as well. Might as well just do this quest since we're this close. isn't ready yet. Mm. 
Normally there's quite a bit of raptors here, but I think someone else killed and skinned it. Them. So many Ayahinas around here. Could have been those two shamans that actually did it, by the way. Yeah, that's another thing about the video that I watched. Uh, they said that it is extremely important to get fishing because fishing becomes extremely useful later. Especially, uh, it, it's the best way to farm. This is a rare. Level 17 rare. Should we do it? Hmm. Okay, let's do it. My goodness, bro. That bag is full. All for this. That bag is full. All that effort and trouble for this. Ugh. That was not worth it. Well, us taking care of that rare maybe saved someone else's life that tried to take it on. It's another way to look at it. 
or it could cause someone's life if uh, they get spawned on top of, you know. That could also be a thing. Dude, I'm just gonna say this, man. Like, our DPS is so high. Like, as long as we don't lose the cloth. Not yet. That's milk. We don't need milk. What? Dude, we killed him and we didn't get his head. that's all about. Level 29 just died. Level 27 just died. Back to Durotar for you guys. You'll get three from the next three mobs. I killed him already and I... Didn't loot his head? What? Oh, he's not here. Spawn, buddy. Let me spank you. Thank you. 
There's a mosquito in my room, dude. It's still not up, dude. Is it me that needs him still? Full. Dude, I'm the one that still needs bracers. Gots to be joking, Smeeze. One more time, better be boo, better be be boo. We're on the final bracer. Okay. Now we're running all the way down here. We gotta tickle someone's wife. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's laying on the floor. She's actually dead, by the way. Oh, she did. Stalls to insane DPS. That is true. 
Just accept it and go on with life. Where did he get that stuff? Ah, dude, it's the stuff you get from finishing Wailing Caverns quest line. body is that of a female orc warrior. It is clear that she died in battle, probably against the quill boar in the area. You turn the body over and see the marks from blades and spells upon the deceased orc. Her armor all but destroyed, her hair matted to her face. Based on Mancrick's description of her, there is no doubt in your mind that this was his wife. He will be upset by the news, but you are sure he should know the truth. Should... Should for sure. We have 84 cloth, dude. We should go get first aid up. I think we also have quite a bit of cloth that we could sp spend on, on this. It could give us uh, quite a few levels. I don't know why I'm training first aid, by the way. I think it'll be more profitable to make green gear and sell that. Buddy. May the eternal sun shine upon you. Dude, you're telling me that selling my gear, I only have nine back slots available greeting though the crossroads seems to be the center of activity in the barrens i prefer the quietude of camp toraho where shall i send you the crossroads baby
I came to the crossroads from the south seeking help, adventurer. But I find only cowards who turn their backs on me. Even the mighty Thor insults me so. He is a good leader, but his dismissal of my plea causes me greater anger. He claims my rage makes me hasty, that it clouds my judgment, but I will not rest until I have vengeance. I understand. Thank you, adventurer. Your findings are amazing. The seeds I gave you were dried and dead. Whatever rests under these oases can create life from nothing. We must study this more. Your findings are incredible, adventurer. These oases hold properties that must come from an outside source, or perhaps an inside one. I want to know how these fissures are affecting the beasts who drink from the oasis water. Hunt oasis snapjaws at the lush water and stagnant oases. Bring me their shells so I may examine them. So you've been to the nests and placed the feathers of your prey within them. That took a fair portion of courage, no doubt about it. Do you feel a little tougher, adventurer? Because you look tougher now then, when you first came here. I guess the Barrens is doing its job. Your time with me is over, adventurer. To learn more, you must go to Camp Taraho to the south and speak with Yorn Skyseer. He will continue your guidance. Aha! So the raptors did hide the silver at their lair. It's hard to believe these beasts would have the desire for silver. Perhaps the stories of their intelligence are not as far from the mark as I thought. Thank you, adventurer. Take this as a reward for your service to us, and know that the guards of the crossroads owe their next month's pay to you. Me. Hey, that's done. Me got the good stuff, indeed. Spirits be with you, man. Okay. We're handing in this quest. Dude, are we gonna quest here now? No way, right? Like, I, I wanna do Wailing Caverns, buddy. Alright, let's just get the quest line done for Wailing Caverns, please. And then we do Wailing Caverns. So, the last thing is this thing right here. We need to get eight shells. And then we get the quest line. Um, it will lead you into Railing Caverns. Because I have like three quests. That we still like. Our inventory is full of it, man. I want to get rid of it. Railing Caverns take an hour to do. So, I want to do it before reset. But like, it doesn't really matter. It's going to be our final time running it. If we don't finish the quest, then I will just delete it anyway. Because, like, this is our quest items, dude. Like, what is this? I think we can throw this out. throw this out. I don't know what this is. Nugget slug.
chance to hit reduced by 40. But once, yeah, once count is casting. That's why they can resist it. Level 29 died. Level 20 died. And then two tens. Goodness. I guess it's time to swim, bro. This actually might not even be the quest line, dude. Waiting caverns goes until 24. When did they release looking for group? Sir. But I wonder if it teleports you to the dungeon. That would be sick. And broken. I mean, at the end of the day, this is hardcore. The times we live in are as fickle as the shifting winds, adventurer. It is important to remember what is true and lasting in this world, and to preserve that. Everything else is a waste. Thank you, adventurer. Studying the beasts of an area can tell much about the area itself. We shall see what tale these shells tell. Please accept my gratitude for your aid. And perhaps you can use these coins. I find that I do not need them. My clanmate, Mura Rune Totem, traveled to Silverpine so that she might aid our undead allies. Silverpine is an ailing forest, a dying forest, 
and it was Mura's hope to bring it new life. Perhaps the strange life found here in the Barrens can help her work in Silver Pine. Take a sample of the shells you gathered and bring it to Mura in Silver Pine. She is staying at the Sepulchre. With luck, studying the shell will give her the insight she needs to heal that dying place. The shells you brought me have a taint, one I have never before seen. I am certain the water of the oases is the cause, and I can sense the confusion they cause this land. It is as if the land dreams and cannot awake. The Wailing Caverns must be the source of the taint. But before you go there, speak with Hamur Runtotem, the Elder Druid. I sent word to him of the happenings in the Barrens. He is wise and can offer you counsel. You will find him in Thunder Bluff, on the Elder Rise. Okay, we'll just follow what it says now, because I think we'll do a logout skip here. Because it doesn't show anywhere else we need to go. So I think we'll do a logout skip there to uh, to get to Malgor. If not, we'll just let's probably run until this area and then fly. It might take us back to Crossroads first, though. But that's okay. We have our duties, adventurer. Duties to the Horde. Nicely done. I'm sure you've struck fear into the surviving centaurs, adventurer. If they have sense, they'll now calm themselves and stop their advances. But I don't think they will, and that is unfortunate. Unfortunate for them? Very good. You must have really stirred up those centaur. Our guards spotted activity down near the stagnant oasis, which was probably you. You should be proud of your deed, adventurer. There is much bravery in you. Hezril Bloodmark is the leader of the Kolkar Centaurs in the Barrens. He is fierce, brutal, and cunning. Defeating him would disrupt and fracture the Kolkars, greatly reducing their threat to us. So kill him, as with Varak and Verog bring me Hezril's head. He leads his people from the Lushwater Oasis to the south. Take a little shortcut here. Yeah, I don't see any other markings, man. Help us fish and ratchet. You need help to fish? Come on, man. What are you doing? He's a level 5 character. <laughs> Fishing at Ratchet, dude. Like, are you actually kidding me? Ah, an adventurer. Very good. We will need your skills to deal with these plunderers. The Goblin Run Venture Company moved into the Stone Talon Mountains, chopping down trees and burning huge stretches of forest. The spirits of this place are nearly blind with pain and rage. We must stop the Venture Company. Head northwest beyond the Great Wood Vale and into the Windshear Crag. You will find the goblins and their servants at work. Show them the Horde will not allow the exploitation of Stone Talon. Show them in the language they best understand. Violence. The Grim Totem Clan raided my village and killed most everyone. I killed all I could, but barely escaped with my life. 
Adventurer, all I wish now is that more of them are dead. You will find them just to the west of here. Oh man, these enemies are level 14 though. They're gonna do nothing. Maybe should have attacked more. Bro, we're not even get experience anymore to kill them. That's how level, low level this quest is. first blue that he got the shield six strength shield twink shield Down here, help us fish, please. We're running out of people. It's hard job. Like, what is he doing, dude? Like, <laughs> what? It's the worst profession in the game, in my opinion. It's so boring.
Adventurer, I thank you. But I will never forget what the Grim Totem have done to my village. Adventurer, you've done a fine job killing Grim Totem. If you dare, Grundig Darkcloud and his personal band of brutes is by far the worst of the lot. He was the one who led the brutal attack on my village. You will find him in Grim Totem Post a bit further up the path to the west. Kill him, and I will be forever grateful. So strong for mats, yeah. Like, I'm not saying... I didn't say fishing is useless, right? I said it's boring. It's two very different things, bro. Two very different things. Uh, how late is it? 4.37. Bro, we have about 30 minutes left. And then we have to... Have to dungeon, one hundred percent. But you guys, uh, I'm gonna just run close up here. Um, I'll show you guys as I run up there. But I'm gonna actually end the video here. Honestly, hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will catch you, beautiful people, in the very next video. Take care. Bye bye.